a conservation hero, an ocean warrior, going after criminals, plundering the sea, fighting injustice, the man who raised the alarm of the damage we are doing to the ocean, the man who told the world about shark finning, phytoplankton extinction, overfishing, dolphin bycatch, and how he told the world that if the ocean die, we die. Today on Rio's Animal Planet series, Earth Heroes, we are talking about Captain Paul Watson. Captain Paul Watson was born on the 2nd of December, 1950, in Toronto. When he was a child, he lived in New Brunswick, where his mother uh, taught him and his brothers and sisters to be very careful uh, not to walk on insects, for example, and just to care a lot about wildlife. He spent most of his time um, as a child playing in nature or playing pirates and boats or uh, playing by the river. And one day, Paul found a family of beavers and he just loved like watching them, like playing or anything like that. And basically, one day they disappeared and uh, he went around and asked his neighbours where they were and they said that's probably because there are some hunters trapping them. So, he went and started looking for the beavers and he actually freed them he saved the family of beavers his first job was being a canadian coast guard in weather ships or search and rescue hovercrafts and he also signed up as a merchant seaman in the late 60s and this is probably how he learnt how to be a captain and that's probably how he learned about ships and stuff. He met the man called Bob Hunter. And then with a few other people, they created a big movement called Greenpeace. Now, the reason why Captain Paul Watson joined this fight was because he was shocked at the effects of nuclear testing and how it was killing seals and loads of other ones. And this movement later grew quite a lot. And the reason why he was asked to join full time was because he was the only person who had experience of being a captain and sailing a ship. And he was the only guy who said, uh, well, there are Russian whalers hunting whales. Let's make a new campaign about saving whales. And he, so he had a talk with Bob Hunter and Bob Hunter really, really went into it and they created Save the Whales movement which rallied so many people, which rallied so, so many people. And since they had experience, because they used to be journalists, uh, they knew that the spreading news on news is is a really effective way so they started filming saving whales or any creature really and they sent it to the news to hopefully get some sort of a uh, mention and with greenpeace they worked really hard to try and stop the seal hunt in canada and Paul Watson was really the first person who raised the alarm to that to stop baby seals from being killed for their fur, for their fur. And he left Greenpeace to create Sea Shepherd. And Sea Shepherd was an anti-poaching group focusing on conservation, going after the illegal hunters that hunt whales, dolphins, sharks, dolphins, fish, anything. And just keep this in mind, there's no police on, on sea, there's only police on land. But Sea Shepherd 
of the conservation police. And he was the person who raised alarm about a hunting shark killing so many sharks for their fins. And literally, one time he caught people killing sharks in Costa Rica. And they stopped these people from hunting and thinning the sharks by using water hoses. And they weren't endangering anybody on the boat. And unfortunately, Paul Watson got in big trouble for doing something that is right. And later, he was the star of a show that went on for many seasons called Whale Wars, which was quite famous actually. Now, I recommend you to watch it because it's about Paul Watson and Sea Shepherds stopping illegal hunting. Paul Watson, he um, basically, he left Sea Shepherd a few years ago to create the Captain Paul Watson Foundation and uh, which in the UK it's called the Neptune Pirates. Now a couple uh, years ago, maybe two years ago, I joined the Neptune Pirates and we go on beach cleans together and, and we try our best to save whales, to save dolphins, to save from marine life. So I hope you could join in too. Paul Watson and the Neptune Pirates fight crime and, and People call them monsters or or criminals. When when he's fighting the monsters and the criminals, he is literally like he is treated like a criminal for stopping crime, and that just ah, uh, it's just awful. It's just terrible. It's completely corrupt. Whales are so endangered that now they are protected, but Japan is still hunting them. So why is he getting in trouble for them? I don't understand. Now Paul Watson won the Point of Light Award in America. He also got the Times Top 20 Environmental Hero. And he won the Jules Verne uh, award, which was the first time was won by Jack Cousteau, who I made a video about, and he's the second winner of that. He also received the Amazon Peace Prize, and The Guardian also puts him in the top 10 of people who can save the world. And despite all of these amazing things, Paul Watson was still arrested on the request of Japan. Paul Watson uh, is in prison and he could face extradition for Japan. And he was only arrested for one reason, to, uh, to stop poachers from killing whales. Is that a crime? No, it isn't. He saved more than 5,000 whales and Japan are killing most of them. If you want to free Watson. Check out the Chile app, it gives you ideas to save Paul Watson, which is just great, it's a revolutionary thing. And they update it every single day, with more actions you can take. And at the end of the day, hunting whales is a crime, saving them is not. Japan, stick to hunting Pokemon instead of whales. Now if there was a sea police, like, stopping whaling, saving dolphins, um, stopping overfishing, Paul Watson would be the chief. And unfortunately, there's no police in the ocean. People don't seem to care. So these poachers and hunters can just do whatever they want, which is not right. Now what Paul Watson is doing is selfless. He's thinking about future generations and also just saving whales is, is a great act. He is thinking about how Kids in the future can look underwater and see oceans and bustling and filled with marine life. But this just, as he said before, 
if oceans die, we die. So, if we're killing whales, the oceans will die. Let's not treat heroes like criminals. Prison is for criminals, not heroes. Free Paul Watson. What we deliberately go out to do is to uh, protect marine mammals. And if that involves confrontation, then uh, so be it. Is it illegal? Okay, let's go after it. I feel that it's uh, our moral obligation to prevent uh, these criminals from going out there and raping and plundering to their heart's content and destroying you know, the rich treasures that, that, that this planet has for all of us.